people are always saying, well, the Jews came in in 1948 and ran out the Palestinians. For 400 years, 400 years, Palestine, Syria, all these, Lebanon, uh, Jordan, all of these were run by the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans are not Arabs. Up until 1917, 1920, the end of World War I, the Ottomans sided with, uh, with Germany. They were defeated and they said, we're going to come in and divide up amongst those. They said, here's Syria, here's Jordan, here's, uh, here's Egypt, here's uh, Lebanon, and here's uh, uh, the land for the Jews, which was then called Palestine. Look at Dallas Cowboy Football Stadium. The Dallas Cowboy Football Stadium are the Arab countries. If you put a matchbook in the corner of the Dallas Cowboy Football Stadium, that matchbook is Israel. Now you've got all of the Dallas Cowboy Stadium. Give us half that matchbook and then there'll be peace. There's never been peace for land. All right, so we have the League of Nations, we have the Balfour, we have the San Remus declaring that this land belongs to the Jewish people. But the reality was in all their excavations, they never found the city of David. Does anybody know why? They were digging in the wrong spot. And they went to, to, to move dirt for a parking lot and went, whoa. What is this? And so they started digging down and they found David's palace. They got a water, a sewerage leak or a water pipe leak. And so they started digging and they found a road goes from the pool of Bethesda all the way up to the Temple Mount steps. They found a pomegranate bell that goes on the hem of a priest. They found the, where the money exchangers were ripping people off, where Jesus turned over the money exchangers. When I was with Prime Minister Netanyahu, I said, Mr. Prime Minister, how important is the discovery of the pilgrimage road? That road has been covered for 2,000 years. Nobody knew it was there. Those stones you can't see are polished, shiny, from millions of people walking on them 2,000 years ago. Prime Minister Netanyahu has a has a, uh, a a signet ring with his family name on it, and the some of the skeptics have said, "Oh, that's counterfeit." Or you find a coin, "Oh, that's counterfeit." Or you find a pot, "Oh, that's counterfeit." You can't counterfeit a road. And he started talking about Professor Klausner and teaching him Jesus, the Jewishness of Jesus. And he looked at me and he looked at us and he said, "My ancestors." as Jews and Christians walk that road together, worshiping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, Jesus walked that road. The apostles walked that road. And now it's discovered. And within a year, we'll all be able to walk that road.